I've switched over to this uh, Rigol uh, DS6000 demo board. The uh, uh, off and on, I've been using this board and the uh, Siglent board for various signals, but the Siglent board doesn't have the the buses. This one does have RS-232, uh, SPI, uh, IIC or I2C, and CAN. Uh, CAN won't do us any good because neither of these scopes will decode the CAN, but they are supposed to decode the others. But I've actually decided to not to go through the decode and uh, in the, in the trigger section and instead what I'm going to do is just give you a very quick snapshot of the RS-232 decode in the uh, Siglent for reasons that you'll see and then I want to just move on and uh, try to wrap everything up in other words make this the last video with a little bit of an overview and a summary so what I have hooked up here is the RS-232 uh, output of this uh, board and what that generates is the word Rigol followed by DS6000 with the space in between. It generates that in ASCII, RS-232 ASCII and the codes for that I wrote up here just to help me out a little bit. Uh, it's 52 these are the hex values, 49, 47, uh, 4F, and 4C. And if you look up here on the scope, that is what, what we have displayed. Let me see if I can get it to... to uh, if you see over here, we have 52, 49, 47, 4F, 4C, 20, that's a space, and then the D of DS uh, continuing. Now, the reason that I decided not to uh, continue with all of the decode functions is, frankly, I didn't check the manual and did not realize that the Siglent apparently does not do an ASCII decode. In other words, it shows you the hex values and that's that's all you get. Uh, Based on that, and the fact that I know that the analog discovery uh, I've been working with uh, does a much better job of decoding RS-232 signals, I think what I would like to do is, instead of just comparing these two scopes for decode, I'd like to include the analog discovery, and since that's an entirely new topic, I'm going to skip that uh, in this set of uh, videos and do a separate set on comparison of uh, these two scopes versus the analog discovery uh, by Digilent. So let me uh, switch over now to just doing a little bit of an overview and summary. Here you see the pricing for the Rigol and the Siglent. I've included the base price of both units. I've added the, the price of the trigger and the decode in my opinion, based on what I know now, I would not buy the decode on the Siglent, given that it doesn't do ASCII. I haven't yet really evaluated the Rigol, but the way I understand it, the decode, particularly for bus, uh, bus decode, doesn't really work well unless you also buy the trigger. So you basically have to spend $1,200. And I suspect that you will find that something like the analog discovery might be a better choice, at least for the kinds of things I'm looking at, which is uh, university lab environments and so on. In the Rigol, there is a PLL bug for which there is a partial fix, so an upgrade to the software. Check out the EEV blog for that. Uh, they're not the only ones, but uh, Dave Jones has a couple of uh, videos on that. The Rigol's main benefit is it has four channels and you can get the MSO, although then you're adding even more to the cost. Their support appears to be very responsive. I told you that Jason got back to me right away and was uh, very helpful. And I understand, I, I've seen other people in the community who have been satisfied with Rigol's support. 
with Siglet, there uh, are bugs, I think, in the Windows trigger. I know there are bugs in the measurement. I didn't show you those, but uh, if you try to turn things off in the measurement, they look like they go off, but then when you uh, turn measurement back on, they're back again. So uh, there, there are definitely some issues with the measurement functions. Second thing is I did check out the direct entry uh, and it is not present on the Siglet. That makes it very, very easy to enter values. Now one reason that I consider this a serious drawback is another quirk of the Siglet is the acceleration on their uh, multifunction knob. Uh, by that I'm talking about this knob that is right here and you use to adjust uh, this one right here. And you use to adjust various things. I find that very frustrating to use. It would be easier I think if it were a bigger knob and it would be even easier still if they would provide an enter key instead of pushing that button, even if it meant devoting an extra menu item down here or something. The reason is that about a third of the time, yeah, I said that right, about one out of every three times you push that button, I found that it would change the selection. So if you were picking B and you push the button, sometimes you get A, Sometimes you get B, sometimes you get C, uh, and only about two-thirds of the time did you get the button you wanted. The one advantage of the Siglent is all the triggers are included. Now the number of triggers is less, and there are some, if you pay extra for the triggers on the Rigol, you do get some extra triggers that, uh, uh, that you don't get in the Siglent. A major down for me is that there's no ASCII decode. And, uh, that's one of the major reasons that I've decided to switch over to uh, do a completely different set of videos. Before I end this, let me just mention some other resources. Obviously the websites, RigolNA and Siglent.com. I bought this equipment from teequipment.net as I have a lot of other equipment. By the way, I have no affiliation with any of these uh, companies, never have had. I have bought a fair amount of equipment from T-Equipment. They are great. Uh, and they're actually a better source of information I have found than going to the uh, manufacturers. Uh, the, uh, on YouTube, both Rigol and Siglet have uh, videos. They don't cover everything, but they are pretty good. I have found that W2AEW Allen is very good. He's a, I think he works for Tektronix. He has a lot of good articles or good videos on scopes, fast Fourier transform and ham radio and so on. EEV blog, I think everybody knows that uh, Dave Jones uh, does a lot of general EE stuff as well as equipment reviews. Signal Path blog, I found very, very good as is MJ Lorton. So at this point, the uh, my conclusion is that if you want a basic scope, it, either the Siglent or the Rigol is a good one. But at this point, I'm not able to recommend any of these add-ons for the Siglent, and I don't think I'm going to be able to recommend the add-ons for the Rigol because of the price. Well, that's the end. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I look forward to doing some more later.